new record. I hope you like. I come up with this on Thanksgiving uh, last year, and uh, I was sitting in my kitchen trying to think of shit to be thankful for, and uh, I realized that I had just about everything to be thankful for. So this is called Thanks Again. It's a gospel song. Play it
And I had to say to myself, I wasn't fair. I didn't get to smoke the good grass. I never saw Janice Joplin. Screw all you hippies. It's just too much. But then deep down, I like to smoke a little grass sometimes and listen to Janice Joplin. And, uh, Oh, y'all yeah, hippies are all right with me. <laughs> this next song, though, is a song I wrote for an old hippie friend of mine that lived right through the Woodstock generation. He used to tell me that my generation wasn't worth his shit, so one day I'll come up with this song to defend my generation. It's called My Generation Party. generation found a way to make this nation open up its eyes and take a look around and he says that my generation ain't good for nothing but I can think of something so I thought I'd jot it down here's the hair gel hanging out at the health spa using common sense watching Chicks and frag guy wearing forty dollar tie t shirts and big bold paisley as long as you can and bring in the crowd. Oh, my generation, my generation, my generation should be proud. Shopping malls, and there ain't any price. We're too proud to let our parents pay. We'll buy anything from a diet sprite to 1,000 points of light. I mean, we're not that bright. I'm proud anyway. Here's the hair gel hanging out at the health spa, using common sense, watching our city all. Sisters and say, big bold pays lead time. Here's to Yeah. 
and roll will never die. Hang your hair down in your eyes, you make a million dollars. sent out demos but everybody passed so one day we finally took the plunge went out to Seattle and started playing grunge Washington State that is Space Needle Eddie Vedder Monday Monica Lewinsky Now to fit in fast, we got flannel shirts and we turn our amps up until it hurts. We got bad attitudes and what's more, when we play, we stare straight down at the floor. Yeah! How scary! How totally alternative! I think Jim Morrison did that once. Seattle scene, you gotta show people something they have never seen. So thinking up a gimmick one day, we decided to be the only band that wouldn't play no. Under any circumstances. We call this silence. Music's original alternative. Roots grind. spread the word through the underground that we were the hottest new young band in town. Record guy come out to see us one day, just like always we refused to play, man, and knocked him out. He said he loved our work. He said he loved our work, but he wasn't sure he could sell a record with no music on it. I said, dude, you've been doing it all year. but that wasn't tough because we just filmed ourselves smashing stuff. It was kind of weird because there was no music, but MTV said they'd love to use it. The kids went wild, the kids went nuts. Rolling Stone gave us five stars and we played with guns. We were meeting chicks, taking drugs. They asked us to do MTV Unplugged. You should have seen it. sick of this song, I think. <laughs> but I never get sick of it. And later on, before the show's over, we're gonna smash our shit. show by refusing to play, refusing to go, and then just when it looked like fame at last forever, along come this band that wasn't even together. Guns and Roses is what it used to be called. Let's get to see if we can get a hoot nanny vibe like a damn Joe Bias concert. Hey, hey, man. dropped and that's not funny because now we're hooked on crack but we're out of money so the other day I called the band I said boys I'm taking all I can I said we shave off these god-awful goatees pack up our van drive back to Bloomington hang out with the coon for a while
Joe Marine check. Now I know you know we're working hard for you. We're gonna play a song about arithmetic and why I never could pass it in school. That's called it all. Man. Kick it all, what you call? Oh, 